python with and the name of the file dipseq.py we should be able to get some output here all right there we go hello how can i assist you so that's coming through the api there's a new model in town this one is you know it's open source um and it's made by a chinese company it's called DeepSeek. so in this video um i just wanted us to test out the api and then also to have a look at you know how it performs uh, basically if you go on the deep seek website that is deepseek.com you should be able to see this simple interface uh one thing i i noticed about it you know the moment i go to this website is that it's very simple uh, straight to the point they give you what you want to see they you know the buttons are just there right in front of you i think i really like the interface now when you scroll down here you get to see how how it, uh, how it performs against other models you know there's gpt 4.0 it's cloud 3.5 sonnet the sonnet there's llama 3.1 there's quen and you know there's the deep seek 2.5 and then the deep seek v3 which is the latest there and you can see with english how it performs there uh with coding how it performs there interestingly uh it seems to be performing better than all the models here interestingly it seems to be performing really well um with coding here uh, against all the other models you can see it's it's at 82.6 uh, with the human evaluation there the live code benchmark 40.5 you can see the other ones and, and most of these it is actually topping uh, uh, except for the wse verified which is at 50.8 on the summit all right uh, and of course you've got chinese there uh they're sitting at 90 you know for that one and then there's 91 for the coin all right so let's go ahead i'm just going to sign in uh, i already have an account um i have used my google account here to sign in again you know pretty simple sign in straight to the point i think i really like the simplicity in this right this is um quite good all right so we wait for the verification they've got a very interesting you know recapture as well it's not like you know what we are used to seeing you know uh, it's just um they've just got you know a whole different way of doing their recapture I'll click on this for the yellow corn should be that one all right so we are in all right let's go ahead and just uh, i'm just going to blur this out um for the sake of this video okay so there we go um you know again simple interface straight to the point kind of like a, a chat gpt type of interface if you think about it because you know this type of interface you find it uh on chat gpt as well so the very simple you know message deep seek input there and then they've got this thing they're calling deep think now with uh with chat gpt this is if uh, i think most of you watching this video have actually interacted with chat gpt but on chat gpt this is where you switch your models so with these guys they're just calling it deep think but with ChatGPT, they've got a model they're calling the the 4.0 uh, reasoning advanced reasoning model so this is their advanced reasoning model basically and then the search is basically what goes on the internet to search uh problems that i learn in alignment with your message um if that makes sense so we're going to try that out as well and then the next thing we are going to try out i'm just going to go back here is the api access now um, in the interim once you enter this platform you are going to to have to just uh, click on the small this yellow should be that one. so you're going to have to uh, throw in a two dollars just for this test 
uh, because they do not give you free tokens once you enter so here i have been given about 7.1 million tokens and i have topped up for two dollars and i already have some usage there and uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the, the pricing is really low as compared to what, you know, the GPT-4 or API provides. All right. So I already went ahead and asked it to give me a Python script, which would allow me to uh, actually, you know what, let's uh, give it a Python. Let's ask it to give us a Python script um, or we could actually go to the documentation. So let's go to the documentation. And if you scroll down here, you know, switch to Python. We just want to see how well this, uh, this model performs, right? Uh, for this, I'm going to be using Python, of course, but you're going to need your DeepSeek API. I'm going to show you how to get that in a moment. So let's go ahead and copy this. Now it's it's interesting because uh, DeepSeek seems to be using the OpenAI SDK here, but you are using the DeepSeek API. Um, so it would be interesting for you, you know, as you're trying this out, for you to just um, have a look at you know the documentation. So let's just go over it a bit. Once you have obtained an API key, you can access the DeepSeek API using the following example scripts. This is a non-stream example. You can set the stream parameter to true to get stream response. The DeepSeq chat model has been upgraded to DeepSeq v3. The API remains unchanged. You can invoke DeepSeq v3 by specifying model DeepSeq chat, which is what we're going to be doing. To be compatible with OpenAI, you can also use HTTPS uh, forward slash API dot DeepSeq.com v1 as the base URL, but note that V1 here has no relationship with the model's version. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use the Python uh, the Python code here. Uh, whatever ID you're using, I find it really easy to use Visual Studio Code, so I'm just gonna be using Visual Studio Code in this example. Fire up Visual Studio Code, my Visual, Stu my Visual Studio Code is running. All right, so let me just close some of these windows. Okay, so there we go. Now, just open your terminal. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but you know I'm I'm um, I'm big on the terminal. So, yeah, uh, and I'm on an Ubuntu machine. In this case, I'm using the Ubuntu operating system. Um, the commands should be typically the same if you're using a Mac OS. Um, the only difference I think would be when you're using a Windows machine, but uh, you know. It shouldn't be it should be tricky it shouldn't be tricky so let's go ahead and do an ls here um uh, i'm just going to create this inside document oops documents i see documents all right so we're inside documents let's go and make a directory called dipsic deep seek API, right? And then we're just gonna go into the deep seek API folder, do an ls there where it's empty, right? All right, so this is where, you know, the journey begins. So let's go ahead and do a touch. Uh, so touch is a command for you to create a file uh, on, on, on Ubuntu. So we'll do touch, um, I'll call it deep seek dot py. As an extension if you do ls now you should be able to see that file there we go all right so it, once you're inside here uh let's go you can use nano if you want but since we are using the the, the the graphical user interface in this example i'm just going to go ahead and open that folder uh, that i've just created um okay so there we go deep seek api nice so we have it open there and we've got our Python script. So I'm just going to go back here, copy this file, uh, this, this uh, script that we have here. And then we will need our DeepSeq API. Now, before we do this, just please go ahead and save. Before we do this, just remember 
that since you are using the OpenAI SDK, you are going to need to install OpenAI. So for if, if there's anyone that does not have, uh, you know, Python installed, you're going to need pip to be able to install your dependencies, um, you know, for Python. In this case, we're only going to be using OpenAI. So let's go ahead and do OpenAI. That should go ahead and install that for us. Um, side note, side note, you might run into an environment area, uh, an environment error. Uh, the best is for you to run this type of, you know, this type of operation inside a virtual environment. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. But if please, 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 if while you are you're doing this, you encounter an error, uh, such as what I'm talking about, an environment error, just leave a comment in the description and I'll be there to help. All right, so we're installing the open AI SDK in this case. Uh, so this is gonna go ahead and pull that. As we wait, uh, we could go back to the DeepSeek platform. Uh, so by now, I'm sure most of you have managed to log in here. You can see we've had about six API requests already to the DeepSeek chat API because that's what we're using. So there's also another model, the DeepSeek Coder API, right? So if, you know, some of you that are, uh, are building developer tools, uh, this is this would be the model that you're using uh, for, you know, for a chat, um, a chat app, a chat platform that you're building, you'll typically be using the DeepSeek chat API, uh, DeepSeek chat model. All right, so go to API keys. I already have one created here. Um, the thing is, once you create, you cannot, you know, you cannot copy it unless you kept it somewhere. So in this case, I'm just gonna recreate a new one for this video to be specific, YouTube DeepSeek. And please uh, don't try to, don't try it because by the end of this video, and by the time you're watching this video, I would have deleted this API key. Sorry. So you can go back to your Visual Studio Code. By now, our Open AI is installed. All right. Now, just lower the terminal a bit here. If you go to the DeepSeek API here, we can go ahead and paste our API key. Again, please don't try the API key. It won't work. All right. So, once that's done, go ahead and save that and you should be good to go. Now, if you run Python 3, uh, Python 3, then the name of the file, deepseek.py, we should be able to get some output here. All right, there we go. Hello, how can I assist you? So that's coming through the API. I'm just going to change the, the content here. Let me try. Let me try and say something like, "How can how can I grow uh, maize? You know, um, maize in a place that has drought." Right. Go ahead and save that. Run the same command. You can press the uh, the up arrow two to be able to get the same command. Press enter you'll be able to see the output. So let's see what this model gives us. Okay, so there you go. So let's see what it has given us. Uh, growing maize in drought prone areas can be challenging, but with the right strategies, you can improve your chances of success. Here are some tips to help you grow maize in such conditions. Choose drought tolerant varieties select maize varieties um, option for drought tolerant maize varieties that are specifically bred to withstand water scarcity right so you're, you're basically looking for varieties i mean this is not an agriculture class but you can see that it it, it gives you you know it gives you um the feedback in a markdown type of way so if you get this and drop it you know, in, in an HTML code or something, it should be able to detect that. And this text, for example, would be in bold, right? 
and these would be highlighted as options. So, of course, most of you understand what Markdown is. So as you can see, you know, it, it gets to give you all this and um, I mean, this, this model seems to be pretty good. Um, from here, if, if you want to go ahead and, you know, continue the implementation, you would install Flask and use Flask here and be able to just create, you know, endpoints and APIs that you can use in your mobile application to be able to, to use, uh, to use this model. But I just wanted us to go over, you know, kind of like what DeepSeek offers in terms of like, you know, uh, the API and the model that they have. Um, I hope you learned something because, you know, in the process of making this video and in the process of coming up with the idea for this video, I did learn something. Um, just side note, uh, there is a, right, I see it's not popping up here, but there is an extension that in the process of creating this video, I came up with. So basically if you're on a screen like this, it's able to read your screen, um, check what's on the screen, give you suggestions on what you need to do next. If you are creating a report, it's able to tell you to say, hey, listen, you need to optimize for this because this number looks lower than this and this and that and all of that. I hope you learned something in this video. Please don't forget to leave a like. And if you've got any question, leave a comment. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.